Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. A clock face has negative charges minus q minus 2q minus 3q up to minus 12q fixed at the positions of the corresponding numerals on the dial assume that the clock hands do not disturb the net field due to point charges at what time does the r hand point to the same direction is electric field at the center of the dial this question is very interesting question one of the electrostatic forces. It covers many topics like the trigonometry, components of the electric field, net electric field and so on. Let's see what the question says. Now according to the question here, we have given the charges as per the numeric position here 12 o'clock. So therefore minus 12 q here minus 1 q here minus 2q, here minus 3q, minus 4q, minus 5q, here minus 6q, minus 7q, minus 8q, minus 9q, minus 10q, minus 11q. Okay. In the place of the numeric dials, here we have using the charges okay as per line of forces as we know that here line of forces goes on from positive to negative okay and perpendicularly so therefore our other in other words we can say high potential to low potential electric field flows okay so therefore whenever we have to talking about the minus 12 q and minus 6 q here High potential is minus 6q and low potential is minus 12q. So therefore, no net electric field goes towards to the minus minus 12q. Okay. And same things applying here, here 1 and minus 7. So here high potential, here low potential. So net electric field towards to the 7q. Similarly, these forces direction minus 8q minus 9q minus 10q minus 11. So net electric field towards to the here low potential. Is it okay? Now each electric field suppose E1, E2, E3, E4, E5 and E6. Here net electric field divided into two components, sine components and cos components. Let us plot here blocks, here sine component and here cos component. Okay, one by one, let us first we have to talking about the minus 12q is the exactly perpendicular to this reference point minus 9q. Okay, so it is 90 degree E sin 90 it means e okay and here cos component its cos component is zero now second here minus 11 q so it makes 30 and 30 total angle is 60 so e sin 60 then sin 60 is root 3 by 2 so root 3 by 2 e Okay, now here this component of sine component sine 30 E sine 30 E sine 30 it means E sine 30 1 by 2 means E by 2. Now this component here sine component 0 it means here value of electric field is 0. Now reaches to the third quadrant or we can say this quadrant 
this value is opposite of this so here electric field is negative and what is the value that is 30 so again e sin 30 but negative so minus e by 2 and uh, yeah, last one this is 60 minus e sin 60 e sin 60 means minus root 3 e by 2 this is all sine components similarly here we have using cos component this is perpendicularly so here e cos 90 that is 0 now e cos 60 that is root 3 by 2 sorry 1 by 2 1 by 2 e and sin uh, cos 30 e cos 30 that is root 3 e by 2 and uh, this value is total component base component so therefore here cos 0 it means e now this component of cos component is the same direction of this baseline so therefore e cos again 30 so here root 3 e by 2 and uh, here this uh, last component that is uh, e cos 60 that is again e by 2 okay so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so all these components divided e cos theta and e sin theta now compute all this value of sin theta sin component e sin component e plus root 3 by 2 e plus e by 2 plus 0 and minus e by 2 minus root 3 by 2 this minus root 3 by 2 e is cancel out here e by 2 e by 2 cancel out then e sin theta net value is e now e cos theta what is the value that is 1 by 2 e and uh, this is 0 first 0 1 by 2 e root 3 by 2 e plus e root 3 by 2 e and e by 2 so here 1 by 2 e 1 by 2 e that is e and e that is 2 e and here 2 root 3 by 2 e that is a uh, net value is 2 plus root 3 e this is the cos component so here tan theta tan theta is e sin theta that's value is e and cos component that is 2 by root 3 e so this value is 1 by 2 plus root 3 tan theta is it okay now tan theta is equal to 1 upon 2 plus root 3 rationalize the denominator so what is denominator 2 plus root 3 using opposite side 2 minus root 3 2 minus root 3 then tan theta is equal to 2 minus root 3 2 square minus root 3 square here we are using the identity a plus b a minus b that is uh, a square minus b square okay so tan theta is equal to 2 minus root 3 2 square that is 4 root 3 square that is 3 then 2 minus root 3 okay and we know that the value of root 3 is uh, 1.732 then subtracted then we get 0.268 so here are approximately 0.27 okay now convert into here this is in radian now convert into degree now help convert to radian into degree by multiply 180 and divided by pi and what is the value of pi 22 by 7 upon of upon reaches to the numerator this decimal is removed 
zero zero cancel out two nines are eighteen. This is one twenty seven into sixty three one one zero. And uh, what is the value? One seven zero one 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 zero. Okay, then one seven zero one. Then what is the value? It is five times decimal is used here again four times. Approximately its value is fifteen degree. Okay. So this value is fifteen degree, and here given in the question, here our hands shows the net electric field. So here net electric field from the base line that is fifteen degree from the base line. This is fifteen degree. It means the our hand comes nine and ten in between nine and ten. It means the time approximately shows nine thirty. Is it okay? This time shows nine thirty. I hope so you understood this question thank you thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely when you will become success full contribution goes to your hard work but if my videos my lectures my questions will help in your success i will consider myself lucky please like share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students thank you once again take care bye bye